Hi guys, it's Darren here from Utopian Games and Deep Blue Apps and we've got a really nice template for you here. This is one of the best ones I've made. It's highly customizable, very easy to adapt and edit and you can see we've got very few attributes. We've got uh, notes in all of the actors. Just go down to the train. You get two trains in this one. You can, it's very, very easy to add another train if you want four, five, six trains. You can see the amount of notes I've gone got in there and let's just get straight in and I'll try and give you a, a quick demo. You can see we've got two trains going round here and this grid obviously this is just to help you place the track pieces. I'll talk about that um, in more detail soon. So we're just going to go along here and just going to get the train to come down here, move that one across, move that one up there and that one in there. The train will go either way so if I start messing around with this track, trying to get it to go over here for example and then we want to come back up and then back round the top then you can do that. The train knows where to go depending on uh, where your piece is and let's just say we wanted to add some more pieces well that's very easy as well. You can see we've got two of these actors here but we've only got one track three piece and um, the reason being just go into this one. We've got one piece of every single track there. So there's seven different types of track. Um, let's just have a look what number on there. That's the last track I had added. It's very, very easy. All you do is come down track number 10. Now that can move. I'm going to show you how that works in a minute. In fact, I'll do it now. I'll uncheck the can move and that means you won't be able to move the track. So let's just go in. We're on track number 10. Now I want to add in another cross. So we'll drag that in the scene. Um, where am I going to put it? I'll put it there for now. Double click. Change its position. We automatically know that's nearly right because of the grid. So 240 by 160. Now track number 11 is where we got to. So every time you add a new track, just add the track number. Now remember I turned this one off. Now look what happens, it's really nice guys this, you cannot move that piece of track now. So you could have a game where you actually have so many sort of stationary pieces and put some extra pieces over here so you have to complete the track to get the train round from A to B to C or whatever you want to do. You could have a game where you've got to keep the trains apart, you could have a game where you have to keep reusing the track to get the train to the different places. It doesn't have to be a train and a track either. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can have monsters going round, zombies going round, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and like I've said, it's really, really nice, very easy to edit and customize. You can have the track any size you want as well. Let's just go in to a different scene. And this one is just the same actors, just bigger art. That's all it is. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of track in there. Now I want to add another one of these. Just go in there. Obviously you can make your graphics a little bit bigger. Now I need to change the size of these. Eight to by, whoa, <laughs> by eight to. And let's just go back in. Make sure that's aligned with the grid. You notice the grid is in a proper place now because it's 80 by 80. Just going to change the position slightly. 320, 240. Track number, oh, I can't remember what we've got to. We'll call it 8 though. I think that's right. It's track number 1. As long as you keep remember just to put your actors in the right place in the grid and then obviously give them uh, the correct number. So every time you add a piece of track, just add that uh, track number on and here you go but you notice this one's moving in a 40-40 grid which isn't really realistic but it will still work it will still work fine even though it's in a 40-40 um, I'll show you an example of it here you see now we sort of shrunk the track a little bit um, but like I've said it will still work now what happens if we want to be able to move these in an 8080? Well that's very easy as well. You go into attributes, you see we've got the cell width set to 40 times 40. But for this size, I'd probably recommend having 80 by 80. And then when you move them, they're going to be moving the correct distance as well. 
Um, let's move that one over there, move that one up to there, cross one there. Now you see them, they're moving in an 80-80 grid as well. And the reason we need all them different track numbers, every time you add a piece of track, just add the track numbers, because when you overlap two pieces, you only want to be able to pick up one. So that's the reason, guys. And like I said, you can come down here, come back down there, <clears throat> and then go back up to the top. So yeah, there's a lot of options available with this one. A lot of things you can do with it. And uh, I hope I've covered everything. And like I've said, if you don't want the track pieces to move, you just go in, uncheck cam move, go back, and then you won't be able to move the pieces. So really nice, and I'll speak to you soon, guys.